I'm Stephanie Ray, and I'm going to reset my virtual background so that you're looking at the BIA logo instead of this green screen behind me. Magic! Uh -oh. It is done. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Who is that? I think that just might be one of the members of the amazing group that we have coming up to play for you first tonight on Black Joy Friday, Black Improv Alliance in partnership with Maryland Improv Collective and Highwire Improv Theater. We are so excited to be bringing you three amazing groups tonight from all over the world, different places. Uh, second up tonight, you're actually going to be seeing the debut of a brand new group that has never been seen before because this is their first performance tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, in just a little bit, you're gonna be seeing the debut of Fake eggs i know it's provocative it's mysterious what does that mean you're gonna have to stay tuned to find out we know what you're here for you're here to see branded silk and you're gonna it's gonna be amazing but stick around because we got more awesome stuff coming up after that you're gonna be seeing the replacements give their season finale performance born out of struggle and birthed into a beautiful reprising of talents like you've never seen before. I'm just so excited for all of these groups. So let's go ahead and, you know, get into it. First up, a trio out of New York City that plays fast, funny, and furious. I love watching them. I'm constantly quoting their sets. I'm walking around uh, saying the lines to myself and to other people who have no idea what's going on. And I'm like, oh, you've never dated a chicken? You don't get it. You don't have to understand. If you watched Black Joy Friday, you would know what I was talking about. I guess you're not cool. Mm, maybe you should do better. So if you're watching here tonight, congratulations to you for doing better, for making the right choice. You're not gonna have FOMO. When I say random weird stuff, you're gonna get my inside jokes because you, along with me, are about to watch this amazing set by Branded Silk. Let's bring them in! I'm a black girl's black boys. Say hooray. Say hooray. Hey. Oh, shout out to Stephanie for that amazing intro. I mean, oh, thank you. quoting our sets. I can't even quote our sets and I'm in there. That's crazy. <laughs> I, I can't remember what we talked about yesterday, Jeff. I can't. What is your name? What is, who are we? That's a great question. Hey, Oni. Well, what up? How you? It's good to see you. Good I'm gonna to leave see it. I'm gonna leave it to y'all. I think you've got this. I'm ready to. Oh, oh you like us? Is that, that that's what it is? You I love like you us? guys. Honestly, I would not leave. I would stay and be a special guest. But you know, I've been invited. You guys haven't asked me to, so it's like it's fine. I don't cry about it at night or anything. <laughs> that would be weird. Um, so I'm just, I'm gonna go. Okay, have have a. Have a great set, guys. Bye. Wait, what okay. just happened? <laughs> <laughs> just threw us straight under the bus. That was so fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking about me. Steph just threw us straight under the bus. And, uh, wow. That that was... Emotional vulnerability up in here. And I thought we were going right. to maybe, maybe talk about butts or something. And I don't... <laughs> Ooh, on the last wow. day, too. Okay. <sighs> Jeff, do you uh, want to get the suggestion? What's up? Do you want to get the suggestion? Um, hold up. Before we do, can we just just say uh, thank you uh, to uh, BIA and um, oh, Highway Improv for mm -hmm. uh, having us on and um, such a wonderful season. This was like uh, great. So clap it up, please. Clap it up for them. Woo! Um, and our wonderful host, Stephanie Ray. Yes, yes. Aww. Next Aww. season, she will be performing with Brandon Silk. Yes! Coming down. Yes! <laughs> um, okay, cool. I guess, yeah, let's get a suggestion of one thing you're looking most forward to about spring. Picnics and hot boys. Picnics and <laughs> hot boys. Hot boys. Eh? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
What about him? He cute. Over there, he cute. <laughs> nah, he's not big enough. Why? What's with you in size? Why he gotta be big? <laughs> it's important. I like them big. I I need you know to feel smothered. Janet, I know I know that renovating your house is important, but I don't think the person renovating your house has to be attractive. I don't I don't <laughs> I feel like an ugly person could do just as good a job <laughs> and maybe not better. Listen, okay, if they can't take care of their personal appearance, how in the world are they gonna take care of my living situation? Yeah, well, okay. No, I so, do, so do you want me to renovate your house or not? <laughs> Uh, excuse you, we were still talking, so if you can give us five more minutes, please, before I can make my decision. Bro, if you can do you like leave, that, please? Can you leave, please? Can you, can you, can you go right back, I'll just go back into the corner. Sorry. Thank you. Just thank one you. Second. Just that one was second. so rude. He was actually number one on my list, but the fact that he interrupted me to come and ask for my answer before I was ready to give it makes, him think, makes me think to put him number two. He was presumptuous. It shows that he might he might even like go off the rails and do some shit you don't you didn't even agree to. I didn't exactly. I didn't even agree to. See how see now you getting what I how I'm thinking. Now ugly people are, ugly people are presumptuous. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just not gonna sit here for you guys to slander me like that, okay? My mom has happens to say I am a handsome fella. So please. <laughs> <laughs> wait. <laughs> Your, your mom? He said, he said, he said, his mom. Yes. Listen, okay, I don't go around disrespecting you guys' as, um, parents, okay? My mother's beautiful, all right? Fix your face. Okay, hey, fix your face. Fix I mean, if you, if you think you're beautiful and your mom thinks you're beautiful, I don't know if I can trust. I don't know if I can trust. We, we're fashion models. We're fashion models, so... That even hurts you. You are a fashion model. His mom. Cut to his mom. Hey, Ma. Ma, I can't hear you. You always do this. You always do this. Stop with the miming. I messed up. I did a spell on myself, but now I healed it. Can you hand me the eye of Newt? I want to make this potion. You have way too many jobs, mom. I mean, you're a mom, you're a witch. What can't you do? Well, my main job is a witch. I just mom on the side. That's my side thing. I, yeah, I know, you know, um, I don't want to like critique, you know, uh, the way you witch and everything, but What's up with that naked man in the cage over there? Oh, I'm going to use him later. Okay. All right. Uh, he can't speak. Oh, oh, all right. I mean, I'm just, I'm just going to pretend like, you know, maybe I just, I, I'm just going to ignore that. You know, I just, can I, I need help, Ma. I, I've been on these dating websites and I, I just feel like I've been putting myself out there and there's no catches. But which girls have you been attracted to? All of them. I mean, the 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 loose ones, the, the, loose ones. the huh? Yeah. Go to the park. Wait, my man. Hey, what's up? What you what you just what you just call what you just call me? I said I like the way you loose. What? What you what you mean loose? Uh -oh, you know what's going on over here? I was walking, minding my own goddamn business, and this motherfucker looks at me, decides to call me loose, and then ask me out oh. to coffee. What? what you... Oh, no, he didn't. I'm sorry. Did you just call him loose? You just call me loose. Rude? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I called it the way I seen it. You know? Like you, you got, you know, you got big ears. I like that. You gonna put on my big ears? Listen, guys. Yeah, I, I said you had big ears. All right? I, 
one thing I've been told was girls like honesty. So that's what I'm doing. Not that kind of honesty, bro. No. no. I'm I'm sorry, guys. It's been a it's been a dry spell for me. Even before Corona. Well, I don't got time for all of this. Sandra, I'm trying to meet that guy that I met on Tinder. Um, keep your phone, you know, near you in case he turn out to be, you know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a weirdo. Okay. All right. You don't have to keep your phone near you because I'm going to like kidnap you or anything. What? Why would I do that? Oh, you're my, you're my girl's date. You were going, you were going to go on a date with my girl and you, you decide before the date to call me loose. So, so you hitting on someone before you even go on a date, you loose. I mean, I am. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Listen, you gotta embrace your looseness, okay? That's why I'm trying to, that's why I'm out here picking up girls in the park. Who else would do that but a loose ass dude? Um, right? Serial killers? Serial killers. Okay, listen, you gotta stop equating every dude off of uh, uh, Tinder to serial killers. Every, We're not all one of the same. Okay, every guy I've dated has been a serial killer. So I think I know This what is I'm, true. This is true. Uh, that guy, that last guy, but I told you that last guy looked like a serial killer to me. Cut With to the last name? guy. So what you do for work? Oh, you know, I just um chop up some things and uh are you a beat maker you making beef a, a beef are you chopping beef <laughs> i guess i guess the sound of the bones rumming together it does make a little tune yeah listen um thank you for inviting me over for dinner but does this what's what's the deal with with the with the man and on the balcony What's that about? Why he why he looking at why he looking down at us eating? Right. You know. <laughs> he actually a business uh colleague. I'm gonna be up front with you. He and I work together. He's a he, he's a co-worker and he's a co-worker. That's my assistant. But uh, okay. Um, but this, we're, we're not at work. We're on a date. I thought this was a date. Are you? Well, you know what others see as date, I see as work. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a question. And I need you to be honest with me. No more don't, talk. Don't touch, don't touch me. No more talk. Don't touch me. You know, did anybody say you got nice, smooth hands? Okay. Now I'm for sure. You're a serial killer. I'm going to leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Okay. No, 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 no. I've been down this road before. I dated a man who used to ride around on a little puppet on a little tricycle, and he said it was just whimsical. Turned out he was chopping motherfuckers up, locking them up, putting keys in their body. I'm not doing it again. I'm not gonna be jigsawed again. Okay. I'm not gonna do it. That was my cell buddy. He was in jail together. I mean, what we was. I mean, I'm just being true. I mean, you Listen, can go on about your day. I could find somebody else to chop up. Hey, guys. All right. I'm not here on this balcony with my pants down for no reason. Okay? CJ. I need you guys. CJ, no. CJ, it's over. We're going to find somebody else. Mm -mm. CJ, we're going to find somebody else. Mm -mm. Pull your pants back up. Pull your pants back up. You guys suck. Can you at least get me a cab? <laughs> Who still gets cabs? Go to the you cab. You have a. Come on, we gotta find somebody else. Uh, can you describe? Thank you for coming into this police station. Uh, can you describe to me what the guy looked like? Because we, you know, we locked him up once. 
and then we mistakenly let him go. I don't know why we thought he was in good behavior, but if you can describe to me what he looks like now, maybe we can catch him again. Okay, so listen, I was I was in my cab, right? Mm -hmm. I was in my cab. Mm -hmm. uh, this this young beautiful lady, mm -hmm. beautiful lady comes mm -hmm. running in. She's mm -hmm. like, ah 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 ah. Mm -hmm. My date's a serial killer. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh no. Mm -hmm. We drive, we're driving, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, <laughs> this dude. This dude rams my car, takes mm -hmm. me off the road on the turnpike, on the turnpike, mind you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He threatens me. He threatens me with a little doll, says this doll is going to haunt my dreams, get inside of me and take over my body. And I'm like, no, thank you, sir. Take mm -hmm. out on you. What? I didn't even. Um, uh, honey, must this doll be here while we eat dinner? I didn't. I didn't put him here, babe. I uh, didn't. I didn't put him here. I well, I I, I saw. I thought. I thought you bought him for me. I like it was on at the front. It was on the steps when I was coming home from buying groceries, and I thought, oh, that's so cute. My husband bought me a gift. He hasn't bought me a gift in twenty years. Always yeah. been driving them darn taxi cabs. But you know, taxi, it all looks kind of creepy now. You know, taxis are my passion, but I, I no, I didn't, I didn't plan for this doll to be a part of our life. I don't, I don't know how to tell you this, Deborah. I love you, but I've been cursed. But what do you mean, cursed? I've been cursed. Then you gotta get out of here. You gotta get out of here because you cannot bring wait, that wait. curse mess up in here. Wait, and you know we have children, okay? And I have plans for my kid. One baby. of them has to go to the Olympics. But oh, baby, oh, no, baby. no, but baby, me. But oh, baby, no, you gotta go. But oh, baby, no. What, but baby, what? I mean, it's. I didn't plan. This wasn't like I wanted to be cursed. You know, I'm 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 going I'm struggling right now. I don't want this evil doll. I don't want this evil doll surrounding me, corrupting my dreams, taking over my body when I sleep. I don't want that. When we got married, we say we, we said for for better or worse, we're in worse right now. We're in worse right now, but that doesn't mean you didn't you listen to all of the vows. You didn't listen to all of my vows. <sighs> what, 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 did did. I, what did I what did I miss? Cut, take cut out, to the one. Take out on you. Oh, all right, dearly beloved. Oh, we're gathered here today to uh, put these two in uh, holy matrimony. Um, now, do you, you said uh, you have your ring? Who? Uh, I have who my has and I have my vows. I just want okay. to cut to it. Sir, I, and who has your ring? Uh, I have. Yes, we both have our rings and we have our vows, sir. Can we just cut to it, please? Thank you. I, okay. We just we just gonna ignore the doll. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> I'm crazy. You know, you got a creepy six foot doll just. Say your vows, ma'am. Go ahead. My bad. The doll, the doll is a gift. It's a gift. Yeah, it's a gift. I. Oh. 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 Okay. All I'm right. Marry, I mean, hey. I'm trying, marry, I'm trying to I'm trying to marry my, my wife, bro. I mean, yeah. I. Right. <laughs> you said it's a gift, and he looks like you know. I don't know, it just looks like kind of murderous to me. It got blood leaking down his cheek and everything, but you know, whatever. Uh, Look, well, who are you to judge, okay? You are not an interior decorator. You are not a designer. You can't even take care of yourself. You look ugly. Oh, whoa. I mean, uh, I, I am a priest. So I, I know an evil dog when I see one or not. You know what? 
holy water. Take that. Uh, uh, hey, don't splash holy water at my wife. Don't splash. Well, don't, don't, splash. Disrespect, don't disrespect my priesthood. Okay? Tell me, I don't know my evil omens when I see one. I know evil dog when I see one. Don't come at me. This Tell is why I said we should have got married by the Elvis because pastors are crazy now. Pastors. All you pastors are crazy. You're raping holy kids. Water. You're holy crazy. Water. It's 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 a wrap. We're it's not, a wrap. You're right. It's a wrap. All the pastors are crazy. Baby, what were you going to say about the vows? Can get my vows out. I, Sasha D. Coleman, take you, Henry Thoreau, that's it, into holy matrimony. Are you really freaking going to eat right now while I'm giving my vows? Oh, what? So the next thing you're going to tell me is, am I, do, should I not really have my pants down right now? You know what? I don't like all these rules that you guys have, okay? All right? I don't like all these rules. You understand? I do not yeah. like all these rules. I told you we should have picked an ugly priest. I, I told can't. you this. Hey, hey, you, priest. I've been looking for you. I've been looking for you, sir. You serial killer, Jeffrey. I'm going to lock. Oh, no, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. I am locking you up today. I am locking you up today. I am locking you up. Oh, sorry to bust your wedding. Sorry to bust your wedding. Sorry to bust your wedding. Sorry. Okay. It's okay. All right. So that's my movie. What do you guys think? Um, so it's kind of a lot, a lot of genres, but you know, I think I think it'll do well. Yeah, I think, uh, I think, um, well, uh, well, um, it's, it's uh, ugly, man. Uh, like the ugly, it's an ugly picture, man. There's no, there's, there's no, like, there's no plot. There's a lot of meandering, a lot of evil dolls. There's no sex. You could have um, put more sex in there. Honestly, I, I, I gotta, I gotta be real with you. It was, it was, it was dookie. Oni, is that? Um, you know what? I gotta go redecorate my house. No, no, yeah, no, no, you, you gotta stay right here. You gotta stay right here because you know what? I, I'm tired of this, okay? First it was, okay, Tyler, stop with the Medea movies. Now I'm branching out, okay? It's, it's an evil spiritual Medea doll, right? Like a possessed Medea doll that comes to life. It's still Medea, so bro. We go. It's still Medea. The doll Medea said- Medea was a person. Medea was a person. The, the doll okay. said, hello, it's, it's Medea, Tyler, it's Medea. It's a doll, all right? Okay, listen, my Medea horror movie is gonna be great, all right? And you, you guys are wrong about this, all right? It's, it's, I'm building a cinematic universe and all my characters are coming back as, as horror characters. All right, okay, you know what, Tyler? Okay, all right, fine, um, just, just put some pants on. Just put some pants on. Oh, <laughs> now this, huh? You know what? Fine, fine. I'm not putting on a shirt though. You're gonna take all of. You're gonna take all of this. I give you the pen. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh yeah <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> thank you for having thank us you. this is great <laughs> yes <laughs> I what, what what can you say wit character humor good looks Brandon Silk has got it all I mean come on guys so I'm very excited to let you know that uh you should stay tuned for season two because you might be seeing some more of your faves. I can't give away all the details. I'm just saying the black excellence will continue on. And speaking of black excellence, tonight I'm very excited to bring to you for their debut performance, the mysterious, the talented, the incredible, Fake Egg. Now, 
If you follow spoken word poetry at all, you've definitely heard of fake eggs. They have toured the country, toured the world actually, uh, with their unique brand of spoken word poetry and live interpretations of the messages that they are improvising on the spot. So tonight you are going to hear some spoken word poetry from Fake Eggs and uh, you might even see some scenes based on what they said. So earlier this evening I put up a thread asking the people of Facebook what they would like to hear some improvised poetry on what topics and um oh here's a great one thank you from Siddharth Venkatesh we've got live your life in reverse live your life in reverse we are fake eggs dinner for breakfast I cannot neglect this need that I have in order to eat that half of a burger from last night. Mm. It'll do me so right. Now, whether or not to eat it before I eat it, either way, I will treat it as breakfast. Whether you are happy or whether you are pissed, live your life don't just exist. Keep in motion. Stay in the flow. Whether you go forward or backwards, no one will know. It is all about your journey. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Take your steps. Walk with your limp. I had all the things I wanted, but one. I fell in love with a man, but he was just like Benjamin Button. You see, as our relationship went on and on, he became more like a child. I thought that he was chill, but he turned out to be so wild, just making bad decisions and bad choices. Didn't know when to use his inside voices. I said, my man, you're fine. I know you think you are the shit, but I signed up to date you, not to babysit. Mm. I said, I don't live life in reverse. Mm. It was just back mass, you know, like when you play the record in reverse, it sounds all weird. That's what I was doing right there. And right there is where I'm going to stay because I'm sick of running back to meet you where you are. I am ahead of the game while y'all back there playing football. I am putting something over my rear view mirror. I am putting my foot down on the gas pedal. That's right. I'm in a car. I'm leaving and I'm never coming back. All right, hear me out. I know how we're gonna save our business. We're not selling a lot of burgers in the evening, but this neighborhood doesn't have many restaurants that open up before 11. So I'm thinking breakfast burgers. Love it. And uh, tripping off the tongue too, it's an alliteration, breakfast burgers. I, I love it. We already got the sign. Great, oh we gotta do something because we are in the hole. Yeah, I I thought you were going to shut me down. I mean, you did I not know. get excited about the hot dog tacos, which I, you know, tacos are basically like the hot dog of ground beef. So I thought it was a great idea, but you... And I shut it down. Yeah. I shut it all the way down. You know yeah. what? My shutting you down has not equated to us getting business. So I'm turning over a new leaf because that shit has not been working clearly. So... uh to be honest with you, deep down inside, breakfast burgers, I think a ridiculous idea, but I'm suppressing that. I'm suppressing that and I'm bringing out 
uh, a version of me that you've not seen before. See this right here, breakfast burgers. Okay. You know. Yeah, you know, I I appreciate that, Greg, because you know I know we have not always seen eye to eye on uh, how to run the restaurant, but I I really appreciate you taking my feedback into account this time. It's about time. I mean, six years is a long time to be working together, and that's, I'm surprised you stuck around all this time being shut down. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, Excuse me. I, I, uh, I was hi. wondering if I was wondering if you guys sell a uh, a burrito pizza. Well, <clears throat> we could have if somebody had started to listen to my ideas a little bit sooner. What about a breakfast burger? Would you happen oh. to have like a burger with like an egg or like a? Well, sir, you are just in time for the debut of Bonanza Burgers brand new breakfast burger. It comes with an all beef patty, a um, medium poached egg, two slices of fresh avocado and buffalo mozzarella cheese with a herb garlic aioli. I've never had aioli, a buffalo, or an avocado for breakfast, but I'm in. It's, it's the egg. Is that, is that the burger right there? Uh, oh, 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 yes. Uh, in fact, it is. You made one up before? Yeah, you know, I was experimenting in the back. It's faster than magic. It's faster than magic. <laughs> what do you think? It's, it's better than any cereal I've ever had at the time. <sighs> So what would you pay for that? Seventeen ninety nine. Just take my wallet and figure it out later. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, we can grab it together since we're business partners. Oh, I'll, I'll be back for my wallet later. I, I gotta go tell everybody about this breakfast burger. Oh, this is great. Look at Weep. that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why no one ever rewinds the tapes. Like, it's not that hard to just put it in the VHS and just press the two triangles and rewind the tape. Oh, we asked yeah. them to be kind. And they still don't rewind. No. It's like, <laughs> they call it blockbuster, but like really everyone who comes here is more like a ball buster. Like, they're so mean. <laughs> like a VHS buster. Sometimes they have the flap all cracked in half. <laughs> How am I supposed to enjoy an actual... You know, it's hard to watch this in society when I can't even actually rewind it because you've already messed the tape. Mm -mm. That is just unacceptable. They broke the whole tape? That's oh, history. God, That's history deleted. That's fuck. Uh, is this Fahrenheit 451? I, I just can't wait for the day where we finally have DVDs and then I don't have to be so stressed out about this rewind thing. This rewind machine has been making these weird noises all night. What? DVD? No, like, like, like weird weird noises like i'm not sure if it's like it's like possessed or like if, if maybe it's just like yodeling i'm not exactly sure what's going on with the thing oh that's just the blockbuster ghost <laughs> those are real yeah didn't you pay attention to the uh training video i thought it was just a stupid video you know they had Every other video has Magic Johnson in it when he's trying to train you to do something. I didn't know that the ghost was real. Yeah. I just was following the smile. He said, hey, I'm Magic Johnson. You're going to love it at Blockbuster. I was like, okay, it's great. That, that's understandable. Honestly, the, the Blockbuster ghost is my favorite part of working here. If they had fingers, they would rewind the tape. Can, can we give ghost yeah. fingers? I've never tried. Like, and not my fingers, but like if we find like a finger like somewhere in the street or something like that, and like if we like 
I'm both oh, intrigued so and also finding some holes in this plan. Do you find fingers like in the street? We, sometimes like quarters, like fingers are like quarters. Sometimes in the street, sometimes they're like, you know, uh, not in the street, Bro, they're in the apartment. Where do you live? In the streets, like it. <laughs> we uh, had another suggestion for a poem on our thread. This one was Sweet Baby Ray's Barbecue Sauce. Mm. Mwah, mwah. Oh, mm. delicious. Mm. Baby got back in front and sides and ribs and pork chops. Every single cut of meat you can imagine my baby got it. Oof. I don't want to get too intimate right now, but I've been finding sauce in places I didn't know existed. Ah. Barbecue? I just, I'm on fire for you. Mm -hmm. Like, man, just stick a stick in me and rotate me over a fire slow burn. But baby, when I saw you, I knew I had to earn your meat and your heart too, because you are a complete person, baby. And I eat that shit up like barbecue. Mm. Sweet, succulent, savory, saucy. Tonight, the way you look, you get to be bossy with me in control. You run this show. Tonight, I will act like I know better than ever, you see, it's me with thee. I give in for free. You used to be so sweet, but now you've become sour. I find that I've been crying for hour after hour I picked you up in the grocery store I thought that you would add to my life that I would have more but now it seems that what I thought was meant to be was more like just a condiment to me I wondered if we'd be together but you said nay and now you are no longer my sweet baby Ray. Mm. Sauce on the side. Can I please have the sauce on the side? Mm. I like to know that you took care of my ribs, of my brisket, and those jib lits in my greens. Mm. You, you know mm. what I mean? But every now and then, when you get on the scene, you just sauce it up all me. And I can't enjoy the flavor in which I'm trying to savor. Can I ride with sauce on the side? One time. He was the only one for whom I would die or ride. I thought I was his main dish. But I was sauce on the side. Mm. Ooh. Mm. That shit hurt. That cut deep. Oh, man. Cut deep. Oh. Man. Thought it was nine to five hours the weekend. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. On a mm -mm. full moon. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> okay. You said tonight was all about me and that we were going to do whatever I want. So I hope you stretched. I hope you hydrated um, because I've been talking to the girls and I have some new ideas I want to try out. Okay, uh, you know, uh, let, let, let's see what you're talking about. What you got on the table? 
okay, can you do a split? <laughs> because yeah. I was reading this book, 101 different ways to connect with your partner. And they had like this whole tantric section and I can't do a split, but only one of us has to. So if you can, we can make it work. Only split I can do. I thought you were talking like with banana, like you got to like boom, then you go ahead and get the ice cream, you whip that all up. Lamont, no. you said that tonight I was in charge and we were going to do whatever I wanted, that I get to be the boss. And Kelly, you asked me to take gymnastics in the middle of, listen, I haven't. <laughs> You played professional soccer, okay? I thought athletes were supposed to be flexible. I just kick stuff. Like, listen, I it's Tag not out that serious. Right, you missed you missed that goal. What's going on? You seem like you're super tired, man. <laughs> you don't make that goal. <laughs> All right, coach. I've been doing gymnastics for like the last week and a half on the low. Like, you're on, a halfback. You're a practice. halfback on a professional football league, and they call. Soccer league. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we're in Europe, so we call it football. Yes. And like instead of like working on kicking goals and you know getting the free kick and like actually throwing it from out of instead, I have been trying my hardest to get my twirler to work correctly to spice up my sex life. Too much information, TMI. Yeah, TMI, really. Okay. Is that on the splits? What? Never mind. Never mind. You just um, look tag, like tag out Dorian and Tez. Tag in Jada. He just he refers to his equipment as his twirler, and I don't know how to tell him that it's awkward. Like I want to respect the way that he refers to his own body, but every time he says it, I just feel turned off. Like you ready for my twirler, girl? <laughs> no, I'm I'm not. Not when you put it like that. You don't have to respect that. I'm just going to say that right now. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you, because you know we've really been trying to spice things up. It's been. I'm sorry. I just when you call it twirler, that imagery. Like, do you, do you just imagine the flag? Does, does he do tricks? <laughs> Is there confetti? <sighs> no, but that's a really good idea. <laughs> Tag out Jada, tag in Dorian. Okay, babe, you ready? You ready for this? Oh, wow. Is that confetti? Yeah. So you like it? I did. I thought it was right. great. I was trying to do like a slam dance this time. Like, I know like before it was a little bit weird, but I figured like, you know, I... so, so it's okay with the twirler. I mean, that still feels awkward, but I feel like you kind of made up for it. What if I try to crump? If I crump, does it do, can I? We... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, but like, I felt like that just needed to end. So here we are. That was awkward. Yeah. That was really awkward, and that was completely on me. I'm glad you said it. Yeah, I, I took a <laughs> chance. I just, I stepped out on the on the limb or whatever the hell the saying is. I, I took a chance, and I fell flat, failed miserably. You did. And I don't know why you would decide to go out on a limb. Yeah, literally went out during the biggest meeting of the year for. Flowers Incorporated. Yeah, well, I just thought Flowers Incorporated, I just, I thought we needed to take a new direction. I took a chance and I said, you know, what about, uh, you know, what about, what about incorporating some weeds? It's, there are so many problems with that. Like one, they thought you said weed. And we are not in Cal, that's not legal here. Like we already starting off on a bad foot. I moved from California here and it's legal there and I forgot. That was my fault. I, I, I didn't even mean that, but I understand why they were upset. Look, I just felt like maybe shaking up the pot a little bit, you know, no pun intended with the pot. I didn't yeah. mean that either. You intended it. You okay. intended it. You admit that you intended that. Sorry. I Going out on a limb with the wordplay too? You just messed up. 
I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to fit in with this, this company. You know what I mean? I was never into, I needed the job. I'm trying to fit Excuse in. me. Is this the headquarters of Flowers Incorporated? Yes. You completely ruined my wedding day. There was marijuana in every single one of the groomsmen's boutonnets. They found it. They smoked it. And they were all completely high during my wedding. Yep. Thanks um, for nothing. I, oh, okay. She just needs to get that out, I guess, which I would need to get out too if somebody ruined my wedding with weeds. Yeah. Like, uh, bro. Also, maybe she needs some because she kind of needs to chill out. Like, it's not that big a deal, She's though. highly upset. I mean, it is a wedding. <laughs> I swear to God, time. Cole, if you make one more pun, I, I'm going to, I'm going to write Derek to find, I was going to say, I'm going to leave, but I'm not going to leave. This is my job and I'm good at it. You going to leave. I, yeah, <laughs> I'm horrible at this. I apologize profusely, but I just, I, I, I'm awkward in this situation. I'm awkward. You are. I'm glad you said it. <laughs> awkward. I remember a time long ago on the first date. I had a young lady I was trying to make my mate. But then she looked at me and said, wait, your socks don't match. I didn't know that she had hatched a plan in order to try to catch me, the man, in the slippage. And I had to take the dippage. I went on a road trip with my ex. We were no longer together, but we were still having occasional interactions of a romantic sort. Uh, we both had somewhere that we needed to be, so he said, hey, you should just ride with me. And I said, you know what? That Seems like it's probably a terrible idea, but I like to live life on the edge. So I said, okay, yeah. And we got into his car. We traveled not very far, but then he turns to me and he asks me, so what exactly is it that we are? And I said, well, baby, you know that this relationship had to end so don't you get to road tripping you have benefits but you are a friend the things that you want may not be the things that you need Understand too much can equate to greed. Sometimes less is more. Understanding that is imperative. Live your life in a way where you take less and more you give. Mm. Less is more to power you told me that less is more but i realized it's because you have more it's real easy to talk like that when you ain't eating ramen noodles for dinner and a snack less less is good i'm i'm, I'm real happy that i got some but I see you sprinkling that caviar, that uh, saffron, the golden lowries. Mm. You can find it real easy to tell me that less is more, but uh, I am gonna need. How many more?
hadn't been touched in a long time. That's the only reason I let that happen. Doesn't Sweet. mean. <laughs> can can you put a little bit more, a little bit more on there? Mm -hmm. A little bit more. All right, all right. That's enough. That's enough. Hold on, let me try. Let me try. Yeah. Okay. No, that ain't correct. All right, all right, all right. You put just a little bit more on there. Uh, okay. Um, you know the customer is always right, but you have been here asking for aioli sauce for the past twenty minutes. I don't think you even have any food <laughs> under there anymore. <laughs> Listen, the way I like my french fries is the way I like my french fries. Sorry. Okay. These are my potatoes. They're hot potatoes. Almost there. All right. Can you yeah, just, okay. Just, 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 a little, just a little bit more. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Do you have any Lowry's? Yeah, we got the golden Lowry's in. The gold. You got to go. Hey, this is a drive through What the hell's going on up there? Sorry. Uh, get, get, get an aioli. Uh, all right. Uh, one pack of the gold. Mm -hmm. but if, I, if I give you this, this golden Lowry, it's like you will just, you will leave. And, and just a little bit more of the. Okay. A little bit more of the aioli. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Oh, wow. He actually left. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to need you to stop honking, though. Like, I just work here. What? I'm, you're being mean to me. I'm being mean to you. I wasn't honking at you. I was honking at the customer. I don't You kept honking. Sorry. You want you want some golden lorries or something? Yes, please. Okay. You want any food with that or just the golden lorries? Just the golden lorries. <laughs> okay. You know, it's on the house. Oh, well, that's very nice of you. I'm sorry mm -hmm. that I was being mean to you. I was not, even though okay. I feel like that was a long time. But anyway, I'm on my lunch break and I'm starving and I get hangry. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's about to be my lunch break. What do you do on your lunch break? Um, some, sometimes I eat lunch. Um, oh, but sorry. like... You know, just just sharing that information. Like, I don't know if you want to like act on it at all, but like, I just you on lunch break. I'm about to be on lunch break. Just, <laughs> I, I just think that's interesting. <laughs> you say you want to go to lunch together? What? That is me trying to pick someone up. That was live footage of my dating life. That's exactly how it goes. Dorian, come back on in. Let's get everybody. All right, I keep hitting the wrong spot. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the debut of Fake Eggs. It was our performance, but after the blast I had, I cannot imagine it's going to be our last. Um, man, that was so much fun. Thank y'all. Oh, you are phenomenal. Uh, that was amazing. So hope you enjoyed that. Of course you did, because we're dope. What do I mean, hope you enjoyed that? <laughs> I know you enjoyed that. We're amazing. Uh, and we will be back again for sure at some point on season two when you never know, because we're improvisers and we do things like create a whole improv group two nights before the show and just go ahead and do it. You didn't need to know all that. But uh <laughs> Oh, the <laughs> right we will be back at some point you gotta stay tuned every week to know when because we don't even know so it'll happen make sure you watch every single friday and you can't miss any of the goodness so speaking of goodness we are gonna move right along we've got the replacements coming up but before that gets started i believe barry has something he wants to say so Take it yes. away! Speaking of uh, behind the curtain, uh, Tech Barry from Highwire here, uh, and 
uh, we are coming to the end of our, our, our season. Uh, and as is his tradition, it is time to, to give out some awards for amazing improv. Uh, and someone in the last set and the next set uh, is going to receive an award right now. And I want to point out there is no way to, to plan for these awards. There are no categories. It just happens. Uh, and uh, this, 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 this amazing improviser, Tez, if you could come back on the screen, um, just you, you exemplified such a fun thing in improv. And in the last set you just saw, Tez had a bad, had a bad day. He, he was working at Flowers Inc. and, and he made a mistake. <laughs> uh, but on, on March 12th in a previous, uh, previous show, uh, let me, let me just pull this up here. Uh, you know, see this, uh, this screen. Uh, oh, wow, they pulled this, up the footage. This, yes. this, this was in the middle of a really bad day. Uh, trying to work at, at the turtleneck shop, uh, got fired from, <laughs> from multiple jobs. I remember that. Was, was, uh, there was allergies. There, were, there was a car crash. At some point. I think at some point you might have gotten sued. I might be complaining. But, but uh, it, it, was, it, was, it was a lot and you made us feel it. And so the, the award for the best worst day uh, because, uh, <laughs> uh, yes. you. Uh, it was it was an inspiration so thank you so much for being here i'll, I'll go back behind the curtain now Congratulations. wow that's amazing thank you I, yes wow. speech, 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 speech 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 wow that's you know those moments when you're like i had no idea i had that had no idea that's awesome that's really fun thank thank you i guess i get to yeah, thank you for the best worst day award. I remember that I re that came up in this last set, the turtleneck, or maybe it was before. Mm -hmm. I remember that set. That was really fun and funny. And uh, yeah, thank you. That's very very nice. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Well, let's hear it for Tez Yancey, the man who can make a bad day look good. <laughs> now, coming up next, <laughs> I worked on that for hours. Thank you for appreciating it. Um, <laughs> Coming up next, uh, a group that I am so excited to watch and enjoy with you all. Every single one of these people I count as a friend. Uh, just a group of brilliant, hilarious improvisers coming together to bring you nonstop laughs and quotables and moments that you're going to be running back in your head for the rest of the week. So go ahead, get your little notebook out, get ready to get the hashtags and the jokes <laughs> that you are going to be repeating for days and days. They could never be replaced, but could always replace whatever you might be missing in your life because they're gonna provide all the things for you tonight. Let's welcome to the stage, the replacement. Hey, hey. Wow, wow. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Black Joy Friday with the replacements. Man, we continue to bring you talent. First of all, tonight we have a special, special member. Uh, he was awarded the Best Worst Day Award. Um, we are so honored that he is on our team. I don't want you to forget us, Tess. I don't want you to, I don't want you to forget us. <laughs> never, never, my, my, never, my peeps. Come on now. I, that's I right. Peep. So if you missed the award ceremony earlier, that's what happened. All right, we've got Mary, we've got Dorian, we got Sammy, and we got Candy. I'm Keith. We're the replacements. We're gonna be with you for about 45 minutes, and uh, this is the season finale. So um, we need to bring it. And, and then Stephanie just raised the bar and said that everything we say is going to be quotable. So I don't, I don't know if that's the case. Hey, no uh, pressure. <laughs> can we get a, 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 can we get a word for, uh, to spark our conversation? Yeah, give me one second. I'm going to go back on the Facebook thread. Uh, from Kathleen Kinney, crossword puzzles. Crossword puzzles. All right. So, um, my mother always had crossword puzzles stacked up in the closet like she would bang through them and I would try one yeah I could do it and I could never I don't think I've ever finished one crossword puzzle like all the way through like I've always been stuck and then then I always have doubt right because I like is that 
because it doesn't match up in that first letter and that let. Hmm. And so then my crossword puzzle looks like a mess. Every time. It's a numbers game. Like it's, it's almost like Sudoku to where like you got to make sure you got the right amount of letters and whatever it is you're trying to put in there. You only get one shot if you're actually doing it on a newspaper. So you need the other piece of paper in order to try to practice with it. It, it, it can get really nasty, man. It can. And second, not even just counting third or fourth guess on it. Dorian, you said, you said math, and then that gave me internal trauma <laughs> because I don't do math. And I think crossword puzzles is also on the list of things I don't do. I just don't. No, thank you. I always thought I, I pictured myself being one of those people who like wake up Sunday morning and they break out the paper and they do the whole puzzle. And then I realized I was like, no, I'm sleeping in and, mm -hmm. and we're not touching any of the newspapers, the I'm not trying to do guessing. No, just, just so in my mind, I am friends with the crossword puzzle. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I think um like crossword puzzles and games like that speak to a certain type of mind, you know, and certain, so like, I don't, I, I'm not that mind. Like I, like there are people who find that relaxing, you know what I mean? Like, oh, this is, rela and for me, I'm like, that shit is stressful to me. Like, it's like, you know what I mean? So like, it's, it's incredible to me when I look at it, like how literally I'm one, there's this end of the spectrum and there's the complete opposite end of the spectrum of like how, that's viewed. And I'm like, okay, I just, that's not me. It's like, um, it's a will of fortune with it. Yeah. Well, you're trying to like, mm -hmm. even that game, I was like, I'm horrible at that, you know, <laughs> trying to guess those words. I, um, I love that you said different kind of mind does and not like certain types of people, because oh. that's more inclusive, right? It's just like, I'm not that but you know, and there's nothing wrong with people that do That's crossword right. puzzles. I'm just probably not dating you. So <laughs> it's, we're just wow. different people. That's right. So, you know, you never think that crossword puzzles would kick, well, I mean, Tez, it creates stress for, but I, I, we, I just did an escape room. Have you ever done an escape room? And in the, in the escape room, the, what we were escaping was, was the pilot was locked out of the, cockpit so we had to find the key so oh, you know escape rooms there's a <laughs> there's a series of things one of those things was a sudoku a sudoku crossword puzzle i'm dead okay <laughs> 30 minutes on the same crossword puzzle and there's 10 other locks to get but i was determined <laughs> did i get it hell no we crashed <laughs> We crashed. <laughs> so that's pressure from a crossword puzzle. Wow. They, they've modernized them now with like wordscapes and other things. And they also have websites now that can help you. It's like, if it's a five letter word, you have all these words you need to choose from. So just yes. saying, you could, you could not cheat. You could um, have a helping hand. Yeah. You don't yes. have to do it all on your own anymore. Yeah, uh, uh, I like your got, version of cheating. Uh, <laughs> What'd you say, Sam? I like your version of cheating. <laughs> yeah, that feels tough to me. It, it, yeah, it runs me here. Phone a friend. Phone a friend. Can I phone a friend? No. <laughs> no, no, I can't. Uh, can I, uh, can I look at Google? No, no. I mean, what are rules, really? You know, you're dying in a hypothetical plane crash. Is it really gonna hurt you to like? Look it up. <laughs> Don't you want to know what those other nine puzzles were? That's what I mean, I there's a YouTube video for everything. I mean, by all means, you probably could have just took control of the plane. Just yeah. Figured it out I, from there. But that's a that's something in the simulation. It's like uh I, I was playing, I was in a uh, I was in a mock casino with all these uh celebrities, like they had like mock casinos. So I'm a regular guy and they give you ten thousand dollars of chips and I'm playing like as if this is my money. So I tripled it to 30,000, right? I look over, there's some NBA guys. They took the same 10,000. They got 3 million bucks, right? And I'm like, wait, because, I, you know, they're betting big and they're winning big. I was like, listen, if this was your money, you wouldn't have the balls to do that. And they were like, 
Oh, you don't think so? Like, this is how we roll. How you think I learned how to do this? <laughs> I'm never going to be rich like this, man. See, that's a helping hand moment. They were like, just, just look. Yeah. That was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had a heart attack watching them bet. I was like, you, what? <laughs> you know, you doubling on 12? What? You know, like, <laughs> 12. Yeah, right. Exactly. See? So I'm saying, like, there's rules to the game. There's levels to this, you know? I have a clarifying question. You said a mock casino with real celebrities. That's right. So I'm just trying to understand the lifestyle that you have where this is just like, it's it's almost like a name drop. I was trying not to drop names because, like, because, but if you want me to drop something, no. What happened was there was a celebrity golf tournament in my town. And I had a friend who was there, but I didn't know he was there. So he invited me over and I didn't know what was happening. And I ran into Michael Jordan. I was like, oh, what's going on? And I ran into some other people. I'm not going to drop any more names, but that's that's what happened. And then I ended up flowing with everybody for the night. They were like, oh, you golfing? I was like, no, nah, my back. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, I just uh, you got the only name that needed to be dropped in that oh, whole. Yeah, I mean, that's dropped in my pretty much. <laughs> yeah, where, where you go? so he's here. That's all that is. <laughs> that's all that matters. <laughs> all right, I think we got enough. Let's play. Yo. Yo, yo, you wouldn't believe who I just ran into. Who, oh, girl? I, I'm not going to say names because oh I know. <laughs> you can say it. I, I, I won't say anything. Well, I, I it rhymes with s- style. Style. From um, in... <laughs> from in living color what yeah are you serious i didn't say it but yes <laughs> wow. i just feel like that was such a pivotal moment for you i know right it's like you don't think that they're real because you think you like know them right it's like mm-hmm. i've watched you so i know everything and now you breathe the same air exactly he um he um accidentally graced my elbow. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh-huh, girl. I wouldn't lie to you. Whoa. Whoa. How did that feel? Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that happened to me. I mean, you could... to the two elbows grazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'll sign it. <laughs> All right, cut back. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm totally serious. Oh my God. I mean, he offered, what, what can I say? I can't say no. No, you totally have to just give it up. I gave oh. so much up in that moment. Oh, I'm so <laughs> proud of you. Way to take charge. I know. Do you think he has any more left? Well, well, there, there are two. You could take the other side. Oh my God, that, I mean, you, you really? I mean, you're my I'm best friend, it. like, I yes, like, of course, like, why wouldn't I give you the other bow? Like, wow, I guess it's no fun if the homies. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? Edit, edit, edit. Yo, 
Tezzy, Tezzy Z. Yo, yo. Yo, check it, yo, man. Check it, check it. You, you ain't gonna believe what happened, man. Holla, spill it on me. Put it down. Lay it oh down. Pour it in the cup. Yo, man, I met this. I met this. She had the fat bows, man. Oh my god. Yeah, it was amazing. She had the fat bows. She had the fat bows, man. Oh, and then snap. she bumped up against my bow, son. Come on, you lying. You lying. I'm not lying, man. And, you know, I mean, you know, I don't normally like, you know, I mean, I got I got bows lined up in, every, in different area codes. Area codes. You, know? I know. you got bows for days, for weeks and months. Yeah, yeah but uh, in this case, man, these bows were just, there was something special about it, right? Hey. I was trying to be cool, though, you know. And, uh, but I gotta find her. I don't know where she is. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't like get the the digits on the bows. Nah, man. I gave her my. I gave her my sig, and then we was out. You know. I mean, I was trying to be cool. Oh, you slipping. So, you slipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, I know you know that detective, man, Detective Johnsonsville, right? Johnsonsville. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, yeah. He's the guy. Yeah, he's the guy's always. He loves space. That guy, right? So. Uh, I was thinking maybe, you know, you hook me up and let me holler at Johnsonville. Yeah, Johnsonville. Just give him my get look, discreetly give him my information. I want to set it, do a meetup. And I need to give him the information. I could describe this bow for you. Sent. Oh wow, that was quick. That technology. It's right there. Bam. That's that's why I, that's why I come to you, man. Don't worry, I put discreet, keep it discreet in the message. Tell you how to keep it too. All right, so I uh, have a description here. I'm looking for a very distinct bow. Hey. Oh. <laughs> no arrow. Just... Hi. Uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, yes, I I'm here taking out elbows. Oh, elbows? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I have both of mine. No, oh, no. Need to see the right one in particular. The right one? Yeah. I'll just put them both at the same time. No, oh, the left one's not it. Let, let, let me see the right one one more time. Uh, 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 well, oh, nope. Hey, yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Nope. Yep. Nope. I don't know what to tell you. It's so hard. I didn't know this job would be this hard. Uh, they were like, yes, yeah. yeah, celebrity <laughs> elbow. Um, Tag out candy. So you're doing a lineup. You're looking for elbows, you say? <laughs> yes. Elbows. Okay. Well, I got two. Is it, is it left one? Right. What? 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 Oh. Nope. That's not it either. <sighs> this is. It's like Cinderella, I swear. Like, there's no glass slipper in the world that I can actually find right now that make this perfect elbow. You know, you can buy it on Amazon. A, can you, you mean like an Amazon's elbow, like a warrior woman's? That too, but you know, phone a friend, get, get on the phone, Amazon. Amazon's like, they got everything. Warrior woman elbow. No, I don't know the difference. Do I get like a 10% finder's right. fee for helping you with that? 5% because I haven't found it yet. Here you go. Don't tell anybody. Uh, All right. So three for everybody bring in Tess. Dude, it's been a month. I know. He's working on it. it, it I, you know, Johnsonville, he will come through. He's he's scouring the earth. He messaged me late, uh, recently, said he's looking in the Amazon, the rainforest. He's looking uh, all over the place. <laughs> Dude, we, 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 he's gonna we, find her. We were in Atlanta, man. I told him to start in Atlanta. Yeah, he's very thorough. Very. He's in the thorough. Amazon. He was in the rainforest. Yeah, that's the last yeah. last we spoke. He checks. He likes to make sure he crosses every T, dots every I when it comes to this stuff. Trust me. Listen, there's 150 million uh, women. That's 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 300 million elbows he's got to go through. And that's why it's been a month up to this point. And that's only in this country, right? That's, that's right. probably 
seven billion elbows if he's in the Amazon, like if he's doing that kind of scale. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Let's, let's focus on what you came to me with. Let's focus on these bows. Yeah. These, these, these beautiful bows. You, right? Right. right. Are these bows you told me about worth the wait? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right. These are these. Listen, these bows, you know, they're the one or the two. Two. Because yeah. I only got, I only touched the one. I don't know I if mean, the you other, have a whole yeah. other one to explore. Yeah, I just hope it's up to par. But I'm saying that this is the, this was the, this was the greatest experience of my life. Man. And that's only one bow. <laughs> Check out Keith and Tag and Mary. Say it, yeah. Is this it? Show your bow. Show me your bow. God damn. Sir, you aren't supposed to respond like that. That's got to be it. Borderline harassment, but we are on the search. I'm sorry, I I just reacted. That no, it was a very bow. beautiful bow. It was. It was a very beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you for <laughs> allowing me to, to come meet you. I my my friends been really hounding me, so thank you for allowing me to come. I I, I don't usually show them, um. So thank you. It's very well, moisture. Absolutely exquisite, and I did not mean any harm whatsoever or any inappropriate thing at all. You just it had a very natural. strong reaction, and it was. It was loud, and I wasn't expecting it. Neither was I. I'm so sorry. It just literally, it was a, it just flew out. I apologize profusely. Okay. To be fair, it is an amazing elbow. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. sorry, sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. I apologize. I should be more professional. I'm sorry. Um, but this is what you're looking. What what this my, is what your friend was looking for. My boys, yes. So. I'm going to head back. Um, okay. My flight is booked from the Amazon. No, I just wanted to make sure I did my job. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Th thank you. So, so sorry again. I didn't mean to offend you. It, it's okay. Um, you mentioned your, your boy. You have a son. Oh, well, <laughs> if we were in New York, he'd be my son. Son, he's an adult. But it's like, yeah, my son. So technically, yes, he's my son. Okay. Oh, sweep everybody, bring in candy. <clears throat> yo, yo, I uh I appreciate you meeting me here. Yo, um no, wait. I I I need a favor. Okay. Can, can, oh, okay. I, I, well, Mama said there would be days like that. Yeah. Okay, go. All right. Can I, can I, um, this may sound forward. And I'm sorry if it does. Can I, can I rub bowls with you? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm, How do you want to do this? Okay. Well, I kind of want to recreate the magic that I had one time. And I want to, I want to. Magic starts with me. I know you <laughs> might have. <known. laughs> um, and I'll give you this one chance, like this one chance to just start over. Um, so do you want to, let's, let's do it again. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, hey, hey. how you doing? Okay. Um, um, Miranda, um, your name is not Miranda. Most, mostly no, but, um, so that was like your second challenge. All right. Tell me your name again, please. Corinda. Corinda. Of course. Corinda. Corinda, I, you know, I'm in my, in my status, I meet a lot of people. Names are tough for me, you know, but I never forget an elbow, you know? So I was wondering if I could have the honor of rubbing your right elbow. Yes, that's how you do it. All right, okay. All right. you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 
Oh, man. <laughs> All right, well, let me get the check. Um, this always happens to me. This always <laughs> happens to me. Oh, <laughs> let's cut out Keith and let's oh. keep candy. <laughs> always happens. Like, I don't even know. Like, I have elbows just like everybody else does. <laughs> So you say you're about two months pregnant now. I am. I am. <laughs> and I, you know, I haven't heard from him. You know, uh, mm. he won't answer. This all started when my friend said that she was going to share with me. And then she didn't. And then I just feel so used. So uh, if you wouldn't mind me asking, uh, sorry, uh, did you use protection? Like, did you have a shirt on when you touched the elbow? <laughs> Um, I didn't. I did have a shirt on. Like we, you we had a shirt on. Double shirted. Double shirted. <laughs> double shirted. Double shirted. Oh, we might have to get your nerves tied. <laughs> no. The funny bone. Hang out, Doria. Well, damn. Um, Cece. Um. So just tell me again, you, you, you went on a blind date and, and then when you got there, what, what did he told you to, what did he say exactly? I just, well, well, first he was like, well, I have this woman with this really hot chick and then like, I just want to recreate it because I can't find her, you know, so you'll do. So it kind of went something like that and I, we started over, it's fine. And then, you know, we just, it, it just happened, you know. Like my stuff touches stuff, and you know, mm -hmm. I'll use shirts. Sorry. And and you were double shirted, right? Double shirted. You know I'm always safe. I know. I. I mean, I when I encouraged you to go back that one time, I thought it was just going to be a one time thing, and now you're can't just have one. You know I have that problem. <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? I don't know, Corinda. I would, I would just maybe a different body part next time. Elbows are my thing. Mm -hmm. I think I just need a different mind. My mind just doesn't work the way yours works. Yeah, there's um, there's a there's someone that I've talked to before. Really? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, she's, she's a mind therapist. I just, I feel if you got your mind right, then maybe, maybe he'll get his mind right and come find me. But he can't do that if there's all these bows in the way. You know, like Luda said, throw them bows, but you're doing a lot of bow throwing. I, okay, okay, I, I feel that. I'll try it. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to be in the way of your happiness. Yeah, because yeah, because I want to have to throw bows on you, and we're friends. And I can't bite either, so that would be tragic. I can't either, so we would go to the hospital. <laughs> sweet, sweet, bring in Sammy. Hey, what's up? I'm here in the two one two. I know that. Um, yeah. Um, listen, I need a favor. What's up? I got you. I got you. What's up? Yeah, yeah. You always, you know, we go way back and, you know, um, I always took our friendship for granted. Um, and I didn't see how special you were <clears throat> until you were uh, short sleeved one day. <laughs> you know? uh, 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 I'm going to cut you off right there. I see you. I see you. I see you. Right, right, right. These right here? Right. I've taken a vow of celibacy with the bows. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I, uh, yeah, I respect, respect, respect. I'm, I'm on, I'm on a, I'm on a mind quest, right? I'm okay. just, I'm, yeah. So I'm saving okay. myself for the right okay. one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's a, <laughs> you still see how special I am though? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing, it's funny. I was just doing the Sudoku you know, and a crossword puzzle, and the clue was a bow of celibacy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just read that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
I don't, I mean, I don't think our minds are compatible with the, the, the crossword puzzle. I don't think it's like having two Audis or two innies. We're just, we're not wow. clicking. Wow. But, but I'm forever your friend. I keep it real with you. Like you really turning me down. All the way down. But we, mm. but, but yeah, How, our friendship is sacred. You can't, you can't just come in here trying to speak all sweet, throw a ball. I Wait a minute. Hold oh, up. I mean, I could get bows all over the country. I came to the 212 to see you, and you really turned me down. If you got if you saying you can get bows wherever you go, that means you ain't getting no bows. Oh, I mm. I I I I I I be getting bows. I, I, I bet you do. Mm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Uh, mm, mm, mm -hmm. but you know what all good though all good all good all good you know what let me i'm about to go on a girls night anyway we can make it a co-ed thing you can invite some of your friends let's just go out shake right. this off right. I've been, right? yeah 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 we can do that i've been trying to get my mind off this particular set of bows that i, I can't find but that's uh you know wait so a second go was, out. Was, was i a filler bow was that <laughs> it uh, i mean you <laughs> I mean, you got nice little bows. Oh, little bows. Now, now I got nice little bows. I'm, I oh. mean, I mean, but there's the rest of you as well, because we go back, you know, we got a relationship. Uh -huh. I mean, I could deal with your cute little, cute little, they just some cute little bows. You know uh, my bows will be perky all the way through until my last breath. So let's not get it twisted over here. Okay. <laughs> But anywho, go ahead, call up your boys. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get my girls. We're gonna go out. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna forget all of this because we go way back. All right. So I'm, a, I'm, a, where are we gonna meet up? Because I'm gonna get my boy, and um, and he got his boy, and so you bring some of yours, and uh, oh, I got a spot. Oh, do we? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called the, uh, it's called the grease spot. Right, it's 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 a cocoa butter massage center where they shine up your bows. Okay, so you, you feeling like a spa day? Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Know? Yes. 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 You know. All right. I'm, the, the I'm a good, all right. So I'll meet you there. Like what? Like um, like an hour or two? No, let's meet now. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Says to the Z, come to the to the to the grease spots, huh? Mary K and D, come on through. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. All right. They're on their way. Cool. Cool. Well, you All know. Right. So listen, I apologize. I, I respect our friendship, you know, and I didn't mean to insult. I hope you're not insulted. So I just need to let you know, these are some damn good bows. Just because they ain't giving them everywhere doesn't mean. I know, I know, I know. I, I you know whoever sorry. whoever gets those bows are lucky, man. You know, it's, indeed, it's, indeed. Yeah. Oh, I think my girls are here. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Hey. hey. Yo, what up, son? Hey, yo, so funny you hit me up. I was just about to hit you up. I got some great news for you. For about what's up? Hospital. Got some good news for you. What, what's up? What's happening? Wait a minute. Corinda? But that's... Now you know my name. Wait, that's your son? Yeah, that's my son. You here too? Yo, I was just about to hit you up and tell you. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, welcome, man. Hey, hey, who, you already? Who, who's your friend? She looked familiar. Oh, you haven't already. Listen, I haven't, I haven't told him yet. You have a baby bow on the way. I, I just thought you should. Who know. got a baby bow on the way? <laughs> who got a baby bow on the way? <laughs> Yo, son. No, nah, wait, 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 wait. Come on now. Nah. Corinda, you was double shirted. I've been. Yeah, I was double shirted on a Tuesday afternoon. However, comma, oh. you have been answering my phone calls. Oh. Well, because the date didn't work out. Well, it worked out, all right. It did. Thank you. Oh. Hey, you didn't you didn't tell me you had a nub growing candy. 
that kind of cut short. I was really excited about going to the mind blower. Yo, Tess to the Z, I need, I need, I need like a, 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 a elbow turnity test. Yeah, son. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who is this exquisite young woman over here with the? With the shea butter elbow, I'm sorry, it, with the glasses on, the shea butter, is that shea butter on your elbow? Mixed with a little bit of coconut oil, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. All right, Tez, what you got? You got something for me? As you said, you got a surprise for me. Yes, son, I was trying to tell you, man. Look, um, <clears throat> I met up with my boy, you know, Johnsonville, you know what I'm saying? We met up and- um, Right, right, right. The friend here, if, if if the elbows come up, you'll notice, you'll recognize the, the bows if you just, God! I can't, I can't. God! No, oh, I'm sorry. Kenny, Kenny, Corinda! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't go, please. I mean, Cor if, what? Corinda, later. Hey, you, it's you. I'm gonna leave y'all too long. I, I've been, I, I, I holler at you. I, I, yeah. I, I, I've been looking for you. No, you haven't. You've been <laughs> no. I, I, I've been I've been looking for you. I hired a crew. I well, I've been looking all the way in the Amazon for you in the rainforest. I've been in the 404. I'm just up here for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I told dude to start at the 404, but the guy he got was trying to cover all his bases. He ended up going global on me. So did you with your elbows slanging grease and cocoa butter all over the world. <laughs> no, see, that was an accident. I went on one date and it was an accident. I, like, literally. You like, should have tucked. They have the tucks. You can tuck your thumb and your just in your shirt. You should you did a tuck. I didn't take elbow ed in school. I didn't know like that was a thing. But I, I, I was, I was. Listen, I was trying to recreate our magic. I didn't think I would see you again. Cece's like a sister to me. What? The, what a fucking coincidence! <laughs> I mean, I go around the world and I run into like your friend's sister, like your girl. I just, I just don't understand. Okay, okay, I'll tell you what we do. This may, listen, this is controversial. And people, uh, you know, there's, there's you know, this may be politically incorrect, but we could, no. we could amputate. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. We can just, I, I'll tell Corinda just to, just to cut it off. Oh my God. <laughs> That's not your choice. That's her choice. That's my, that's, that's, that's my nub too. But it's not growing on you. No, no. Mm -hmm. And, and there's no proof that that's my nub anyway. I mean, <gasps> I don't, I don't, Are you I don't know what I think when, you're saying. Man, I don't know. I don't know her. Oh. Tag out Keith and Mary and tag in Candy. So, um, about six months. Now. Yeah, six months. Yeah. And I'm about ready to flip over everything. I'm telling <laughs> you, like tables, chairs, everything, people. <laughs> it, it's just. I, I don't even know, like, it's like I'm losing, my, my my brain is not working in the same way that it worked before. I might take some nubs, you know what I mean? Let me I see your elbow. And elbows. Let, let's, let's see your right elbow, Let, let's check that out. This is... Okay, all right, it's nice and healthy. It's a healthy nub. Are you sure? <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. yes. It's almost her. It's almost a turn. Mm -hmm. Are you going to help me? I mean, you keep appearing, right? And, you have <laughs> and I just want to know, like, whose side are you on? <laughs> I am a half doctor, half detective who has been hired by your quote-unquote father's son, father's <laughs> bow, um, 
But with that nub. <laughs> Tag our candy, please. <laughs> the nub is almost a term. I, how many? I know, I know you had a lot of certificates on the wall, but I had no idea. <laughs> you know, I, I need a paternity test. Do you do that? No, psychiatrist, sous chef, uh, and I can also make a very mean, uh, what is he, what does Gordon Ramsay call it? The, um, where he has the steak inside the bread. I call it steak and bread. He calls it whatever. You know, <laughs> it's it's <out>. called, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, steak and bread. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I don't judge him for whatever he teaches in his classes on uh, Masterclass. And he doesn't judge me for also being a person who can listen to Nub's heartbeats and at the same time do detective work. All right. Well, I, I don't know how you're going to get me. I need, a, I, I need to get out of the situation. All right. Corinda is like, she came over to my place. She flipped out. She went off on me. She turned over everything, including the whiteout. Like she just threw out, she just, just turned my whole office upside down. Right. That and sounds like about eight months in. <laughs> I'm trying to get with my dream elbow. She won't talk to me. Cause they're you girls. Created quite the conundrum. I know, but I hired you to get me to get this fixed. So listen, detectives don't fix things. I just find things. That's all right. That's the I extent got, of my power. I got some extra money. Mm. I need you to take out Corinda. <laughs> like the person or the elbow? Which what, what, what are we talking about? Well, I mean, do what you got to do. <laughs> do what you want. Yeah, like, Jory and then. Tag out Dorian and Keith, bring on Tez. So um, thank you for meeting me. Word on the street in the 404 and in the 212 is that um, there's a hit on my girl by your boy, by your son. Yeah, I was in the 323 and I heard it out there too. Well, I was in the 205 and somehow the news got all the way over there. Apparently it spread to the 7148 and that's four numbers. <laughs> travels fast look i'm just telling you in the plus four four on the other side of the pond it's real Say that one more time in the plus four four on the other side of the pond yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's also real in the negative seven three but the point is is that i wouldn't have expected him to go to this place we've been friends a long time i, I wouldn't have expected that i mean you're practically family calling each other son yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Corinda is not the one to put a hit on. You might want to watch her. Now her no. she's turning things over. She's 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 in a very, I mean, she's understandably, you know, she's six plus months. She coming for the nubs. I've been trying to get in touch. I'm gonna do everything I can do. I've been trying to get in touch with him because I I don't agree with this hit stuff. I'm just saying, stay lotioned up. And protect your nubs because she's coming for you. She knows. She's coming for me? She's coming for you. She's going to take everybody out. I didn't have, okay. Take I, I, out Mary. Take out Mary. <laughs> Dude, listen. <laughs> you got to get me out of here, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in danger too, apparently. What you talking about? You're not in danger, man? <laughs> From what I've been told, she's coming for everybody. I'm included in everybody. All right, look, I, okay. I got us a couple of tickets. We can go to Costa Take off Rica. Damn six glasses you got on. Oh, man. It's just on, you and I man. right now in this alley anyway. Come on, listen, listen, listen. I need, I need a favor, man. I got two tickets to Costa Rica. I was trying to take my dream elbow, but instead, I mean, maybe you and I need to just use the tickets and get out of town. Haven't I done enough? Where the hell is Costa Rica? Oh, that's the 607, Costa Rica? Yeah, man. <laughs> this the 607, man. We take a 747 and we get there by 929. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> like I, I feel like I've done I, I've already caused enough problems here without even realizing I was causing problems. How the hell I get involved? I was just trying to find the damn elbows you were so attracted to. Those are lovely elbows. And and uh, you go off and 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 now suddenly I'm I'm in danger. Wait, wait, wait. 
danger. Hold on. Six letters. I think that, <laughs> that this is my crossbow puzzle. Oh. 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 God damn. Oh. 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 Shit. How them bows feeling now? Oh. <laughs> oh. God damn. Oh. Oh shit! I'm a I'm a kill you, Matt. No. Today on Channel Seven News, there was a shooting of the bows uh, that happened between the bows gang, the left bows versus the right bows, um, and apparently, two gentlemen lost their lives on a train headed out of town in disguises. Um, nobody knows why this tragic accident had to happen, but apparently, this tragic accident had to happen. Otherwise, two people in disguises wouldn't have been shot in their elbows. Um, but beyond that. No other bowls were hurt in the incident um, and no other fleshy parts of humans, regardless of where nobody was killed, you know, just, just elbow shot, honestly. Um, but nonetheless, bow shot on a train, trying to escape in disguises. Channel 7 News, we'll be back to you later on after these commercials. Tag and Tez. <laughs> God. Why does this keep happening, man? A reoccurring theme, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Hey, I never got with Dream Bow. Yeah, I went through a lot of trouble there. Now I'm up here floating. At least you got a lovely background. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I, it must mean I did the right thing. That's what it means. Because if I didn't do the right thing, then something else might happen, you know? How could you have done the right thing? You put a hit on someone that oh. was impregnated on with your bow, your, Wait. your Bobby. Wait, what the? Come on, man. Mm. I can't help you out of this one, son. <laughs> I guess not, man. What's the error code for hell? I don't even know. <laughs> this, the, six, six, this, six. Seven, seven, three, four. Six, six, six. Six. Oh, I can't even say those letters, those numbers, man. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So, oh, man, I got to go and shovel some coal, man. All right. I, 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 I'll catch. I'll be here for a while, man. Come visit. Uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. We'll not be visiting there. Hey, yo, hey, yo, uh, Cherub, yo, Cherub. Hi. Hey, uh, can I borrow your bow and arrow? Did you do the right thing? Uh, I tried to help a friend. Isn't that considered the right thing? Well, you have to put like three extra A's. Like, do the right thing. Do the right thing. Yeah, you got to do the right thing. Here, here you go. Here, here's the bow and arrow. All right, sweep everybody. Bring in candy to weather girl. Just then, this is Candy on Black News, and today we've seen a <laughs> triumphant story of one young woman taking back her power, knowing that her elbows are her own and she has the right <clears throat> to do with her little bows what she wants to. She took back her life by taking out <laughs> those people who came into contact with her who were negative. So we know they always call me Candy the Weather Girl, but I'd much rather talk about things other than weather. So go out into your own environments and just see how you feel because that's the top story today, folks. All right, and that's our show. That's our show. Everybody come back on. God damn, it's gonna rain tomorrow or not? <laughs> <laughs> I was to cover with that. Raining tomorrow, or what? <laughs> oh my God! I guess we'll never know. Never know. All right, we are the replacements, ladies and gentlemen. What a fantastic season! The replacements were born out of necessity. We were called in, 
and we had so much fun. First of all, we want to give a shout out to High Wire and Theater. Uh, unbelievable. Barry and the crew made a space for us to play and have a great time. Um, and we really enjoyed it. We want to give a shout out to the Black Improv Alliance and our host, Stephanie Ray. We appreciate you. I want to give a special shout out to Tez, to Dorian, to Candy, to Sammy, to Mary, and to our missing replacement, Blue. Uh, we had a great season. And we will be back for season two of Black Joy. You might see the replacements elsewhere. You never know because we, that's what we do. We replace teams. Yeah, we come in, we replace you. So thank you so much. Uh, we will turn this back over to Stephanie. She can wrap it up, bring this whole thing home. Thank you, replacements. Um, I'm going to be very cautious with my elbows going forward now that I know the dangers that come <laughs> from just waving them around all willy nilly. Um, funny story, you know, as as Keith said, I don't think we've ever fully told the story of how the replacement started. I like to overshare things. Um, I actually think it's kind of beautiful. <laughs> there was a day where I thought I had something lined up for the last hour of programming. And then I realized like the day before, actually, <laughs> that thing wasn't happening. And I hit Keith up like, yo, so do you want to like, build a team right now and do an hour of improv on Highwire. And he was like, bet, I got you. Uh, and the replacements was born and it was beautiful. And honestly, I feel like it was serendipity and I kind of take partial credit. So you're welcome. Um, but truly thank you for for stepping in. And that that is the spirit of improv, something that you did not plan, it just happens. And then you're like, actually, this is incredible and we should keep doing it. So I am just thrilled to have even a little part of a brand new all black all star team and definitely tune in to see more of them on season two. And before we go, I think Barry's got something else to say. Yeah, uh, actually, can we get all of the replacements back out here? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's award time again. Uh, and uh, Stephanie was referencing uh, that day, February 12th, the very first replacement show. <laughs> Uh, which is the specific reason for this award, but it exemplifies something amazing that this team does, which is to make human uh, inanimate things or concepts. We've seen roller coasters, we've seen elbows tonight, we've seen turtlenecks. Uh, and in the very first show, uh, we, we saw uh, what, what became the most relatable squirrel uh, <laughs> that I've ever seen in, in an improv show, uh, you know, was mugging for the camera, was voguing, was making us all feel like, you know, what are, was our purpose in life? And it's, it's a team award because everyone has to bring their own uh, humanity to that squirrel. So the, uh, the award for the most relatable squirrel uh, goes to the replacements. You all can figure out how you can share the trophy. And hopefully you can meet up one day and all touch it at the same time. Uh, but thank you oh, for being that's here. fantastic. And uh, we look forward Hello. to seeing you again next season. That's fantastic. We'll let John know uh, <laughs> about that one. Uh, yes. That was a fun night. Thank yes, you, Barry. Thank you all. Oh, man. Wow. Speech, 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 speech. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, what the Stephanie story is true. Uh, she didn't actually call me the day before, she called me the day of. It was two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I tried to make it a little better. <laughs> you said we got the show at nine. <laughs> I was like, really? Okay. And uh, yeah, so so it's a pandemic. Who's bored? Like, and I just went, you know, went and tried to get the most talent. And the funny thing was, I had just finished playing with everybody separately, except for Sammy. And uh, and Blue said, "Hey, I got." I got somebody and I was like, uh, who you got? Sammy Lee. And I was like, wow, my my dad's name is Sammy Lee. My middle name, like, I was like, yeah, there was some kindred spirit. And I was like, yeah, all right, bring her on. And then we, we, we came in, we warmed up and everybody's like, what's the format? What are we doing? Uh, what are we rehearsing? I was like, we're just go play. And, um, and we've had a lot of fun. So um, mm -hmm. I appreciate everybody stepping up 
and and committing their time. Everyone is super busy, parents, um, and 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 careers and and everything else going on in life. So I appreciate that. And uh, you know, better than improv is really about uh, sharing and collaborating. And um, you guys are all members of the team, so I appreciate it. Thank you, Steph. Thank you, Barry. Appreciating everybody on your placement. So. All right. All right. So, oh, I jerked my camera around. I'm doing things with my feet and cord. Uh, anyway, thank you so much to everyone who has played with us this season. Thank you so much to everyone who has tuned in, who has left a suggestion, who has laughed along at home. Um, we just appreciate your viewership, your support. Make sure that you like, follow, donate, to the Black Improv Alliance is over there. Maryland Improv Collective, Highwire Improv Theater, all of these amazing organizations working so hard to bring you amazing quality Black content every single Friday night. Uh, I believe that we are off next week, but after that, uh, we'll be back the first Friday with Maryland Improv Collective and then after that, you're going to be seeing me hosting again. You're going to be seeing some other folks hosting. We finished Shake It Up for season two. You might see some familiar faces. You might mess around and see some new faces. The only way to find out is to tune in. TGIF, thank goodness it's Friday. Black joy, black art, black love, black excellence. Thank you so much to everybody. And we'll see you back here shortly for... Season two. Have a good one, friends. Stay black. <laughs>